What up my brother from another mother? Yo, what up dog? What is going on with your coot chickens down in Colombia? You finally won a road game? Yes, we did. We beat the Florida Gators in the swamp. What about your taters and their coach who never has seen a microphone he didn't like? <laughs> we played at Florida State. And we kicked their butts good. We lost because of the referees in a lucky field goal, but essentially we won the game going away. <laughs> what is the tater record this year? We are 5-5, five and five, but we really won all the games. We had a huge win at Auburn. But you lost at Auburn. Not the way we see it. We really rubbed their noses into the ground. I have never seen Dabo so happy after the game. He talked about it for hours. And hours. And hours. And hours. And hours. Speaking of your coach, what the hell is his problem? What is with his all-in, road rock? What is with his quack quack comments? Why did he tell you to back away from the cliff? Was he accidentally hired as your head coach? Was the paperwork mixed up? Wasn't he supposed to be the man who wears the tiger mask at costume? He is just very passionate. He cried in the post game the last time we lost. Is he passionate? Or is he simply a vagina? <laughs> he is a fine man. He is the second coming of Danny. Yes. I agree. The second coming of Danny, that kid from the Partridge family. Danny Bonaducci. We have a great team. In Tudor Town stop all your trash talking. Our quarterback is the next Drew Brees. You were beaten, soundly I might add, by Boston College. They are a great team coached by Magnum P.I. They would run through the SEC faster than a Hardee's burrito through Brad Scott. Yeah, sure. They wouldn't beat Vanderbilt 3 out of 10. Great wins over PC and North Texas, by the way. What happened to that NFL running back from the Mean Green who diced up your team like Dabo dices up the Tater fans? <laughs> It's all Terry Don Phillips and President Barker's fault. Are they not all in? Yes, they are. All in my wallet. Can the taters slow us down, or will it be another tater mashing in tater town this year? We have Bowers, and we have McDaniel prepared to crush your running back. <laughs> that is rich. The same way they crushed Kenny Miles last year? He beat you up worse than Danny beat up that tater wide receiver way back in the day. <laughs> And don't forget about Kyle Parker running the incredible Billy Napier game plan. We are very intimidated. Between the woo, who, woo, who, who, and the quacking, and between the empty upper decks, the overalls, and your coach running around like a cheerleader yelling all in, it can be a scary environment. I guess we will have to call Magnum P.I. up at Boston College for some advice. Make sure you tune in to the SEC title game in December to watch us bring home the bacon. And we will make sure to tune in to the press conference your coach will have when he lectures the fans and tells them how good things are and tells them to back away from the cliff and tells them a national title was only a few points away. And then he will tell about his new raise and contract extension. All in, baby. <laughs> Just wait until next year. <laughs>